Hey everyone, welcome to a new special video and finally a new playlist about what you all have been asking me about which is the e-commerce app. In this video will be an introduction of the e-commerce app that we are gonna build from scratch. So we will start from nothing until we write the last line of code in this app. And I will go through all the details while I'm building this app with you. So you will understand a lot of new things, a lot of exciting things in Android development. So get ready. And if you are interested in building such a cool shopping app for Android, so you need actually to watch this video until the end because I will talk about stuff that you need to know before you start watching or you start following up with this playlist. So as I said, make sure to watch this video till the end. And now let's actually jump into the app that we are going to build and show you all the functionalities that we are going to implement. Okay, so as you can see, this is my own phone. I have installed the application on my own phone. And before that, let me actually connect to my internet real quick because I'm connected to my camera now. Okay, now as you can see, this is the splash screen or the introduction screen that we are gonna display to the user once he opens the app. Now, when he clicks on start, then we will move to this uh, screen, which will show two options. The first option is to register and login. So let's actually register a new account. As you can see, it asks the first name. So let's type my name and the last name. Then I will type the email address. And now I'm gonna add my password. So I'll just add any password here. And I will click on register. Then it will take a moment until we register a new account and we navigate it back to the login fragment. Now let's log in into our account. So I'm gonna type my email and then I will add my password. And if you can notice that we have forgot password here, if I click on it, then we display this uh, bottom sheet fragment and here we can just resist our password. So we're gonna implement this feature as well. And I also forgot to tell you that we can log in through Google accounts and Facebook accounts, but because I have just created my account with email, so let me just log in within this account. So I'm gonna click on login, and as you can see now, we log and we logged in our account, and now we can see the product, we can browse them, add them to cart. Let me show you all of this stuff. So basically, we have a home screen, we have search screen, here we can search about the products, we have this cart uh, screen, where we'll just show all the products that user added to the to his cart. And we also have this profile screen where he can edit on his profile. He can add his image and so on. We'll get back to this later. So let's get back to the home screen. And as you can see in this home screen, we have categories of the product. So basically for me, I actually made this up for uh, houses, uh, furniture. You can also uh, spread your own products, anything you want. So as you can see, we have chairs here, we have cupboards, tables, accessories, furniture, and yes. So let's actually go and browse some products we have. Let's see this table. So as you can see, this table has a special offer. Let's go into this table, and as you can see, we display some images. I actually added the same images, so don't worry about that. Now we can select the color. I also added any colors here, I didn't care about that and we can select the size, then we can add this product to our cart. Now let's go back and check our cart. As you can see, here's the product is added to our cart and we can increase the quantity. As you can see, now we have two and the price has increased as well. Also, we can uh, reduce the quantity. Now, if the quantity already is one and if we try to reduce it, then we show this dialog that, are you sure you want to delete this item? If I click on yes, it will get deleted. If I click on no, it will stay. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, as you can see, I can actually order this, uh, the products inside my cart. So I'm going to, so I'm going to click on check out. And here we get uh, to this screen where we'll just show the payment methods. However, I did not add any virtual payments in this app. You can implement that on your own. But uh, we can actually deliver products to the addresses. We don't have any addresses. We don't have any shipping addresses here. So we have this plus icon where we just can add a new address. Now I'm going to add my address. So here, let's say this is the home address. Add my name here. 
and add the street of my address. So I'm just type anything. And here we add the phone number. So just add any number and the city, then the state, and I'll click on save. Once this uh, shipping address is saved, we can select it. And then as you can see, we have the total price of this order. We have the products of this order. Then we can place our order and then we click on confirm. Now, as you can see, this order has completed and we have our order number here, which is 6424812. We have this message. Then if I click on order details, we just go to this screen where we just show the details of our product. So, so we have the state of the order. So now the order is placed and the order is waiting to get confirmed by the, by the app administrator. So yes, as you can see, we have this order here. We have the address of the order. We have pretty much all the details that we want to know about this order. Now let's actually get back to the profile screen. And here, uh, by the way, excuse me if I talk too fast because there is a lot of stuff to cover to this app. And I just uh, want to finish this video as soon as possible. I don't want to make it long. Anyways, let's get back to uh, the app. And we, uh, and we are now in the profile fragment. And here the user can uh, view many stuff. The first thing he can actually or she can edit on the uh, personal details. So if we click on the name of our account, we have this screen. And the user also can upload his or her own picture for the account. So let me add a picture in here. I'm going to add my picture. This one. Okay, please select it. Oh, we have a problem. Let me see. Okay, we have a problem in the emulator. Whatever. So we select this picture. He can also or she can edit on the name. I'm going to leave it and then click on save. Wait some time until we upload this picture. And as you can see, this picture is updated in the profile screen. Now we also have here is some options, all orders, where the user can actually view the orders that he has ordered. And he can also view all the details about that order. And we have a track order, which is which I didn't implement actually. I don't know if I'm gonna implement it in my playlist, but I will see that. And here we have billing and addresses. And here we can actually add payment methods, which we don't allow yet. I didn't implement it but we can actually add shipping addresses. So I already added home uh, address when we actually try to purchase our uh, product. So let's try to add a new address. Let's name this address work, full name, and type anything for the rest. Click on save. As you can see now we have two addresses that the user can select. Let's get back. And one of the cool features that we have in this app, which is the notifications, so we're going to implement this. Uh, we also have the language here. I, uh, I don't know if you want to implement that, but I already supported Arabic language in my app. Uh, we also have the log out button. So let's click on that. And now we logged out of our account. Okay, now I showed you everything that we're going to build in this app. Now let me just give you an overview of the stuff that we are going to use to be able to build such an e-commerce app like this one. First of all, I will use Kotlin to build this app for the programming language. And we're also going to use Firebase services, which are Firestore, Firebase authentication, Firebase storage, and Fire Cloud messaging for the push notifications. And if you have never used Firebase in your projects, then that will be okay because I will try my best to explain everything while I'm doing it. And we're also going to use MVVM architecture pattern, which is a famous pattern. And finally, we're going to use coroutines and coroutines flows in this app. Okay, this is the end of this video. Stay tuned to build this app with me. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now and turn on the notification bell if you want to receive all the new videos that I post about Android development. So that was all again. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the first video of this playlist.